Hey guys, Max here. So uh, I just want to quickly show you guys what I found out about ZoomSense because I've been interested in finding out how ZoomSense worked for a while. I finally said, okay, let's figure it out. So um, what I found, I'll just tell you guys what I found right away. And then I'll show you some calculations as well, which is another part of what I found, I guess. So uh, if you want your first zoom sense to be the same, like one for one as out of scope, like the same mounted movement, I guess, you're going to want your zoom sense to be set to 2.222 repeating. And then for the second scope, you're going to want it to be set to 8.888 repeating, which is insanely high. Um, it's pretty useless. The first one's probably as high as you'd want to go. But anyways, that's how it is. Um, so I can show you guys quickly how I found this out. So first thing, I set my sensitivity to 1 and my zoom sensitivity to 1. And then I put CL underscore show position 1 on because it shows the angle that I'm at currently. Um, so where it says 0 0.16, that's what I'm at. And then what I do is I get it as close as 0. And then I take my mouse off my mouse pad and then just swipe to the right and then you can see and then pay attention right here so it's at negative 178 and it's going to roll over and go positive and then it goes down so it ends up working out to actually going um, to 160 degrees even though it doesn't say that right now but it does um, so 160 degrees uh, for out of scope and then in scope I'm going to do the same thing and then you can see I end up getting to 90 degrees and then if I go to zero again, and then double scope, I'm at 22.5 about. So the calculations to find this stuff is like so. Um, so first thing first, I do 200 divided by 90, and that gives me 2.222. And then 200 divided by 22.5 gives me 8.888. So it all works out how it actually works I can actually show you guys quickly in game and I'll set my zoom sense to uh, 2.222 so go to zero so I should end up at 160 about so yeah I'm at 160. so that is how it works and bring the calculator back up so we can look here to see that the first scope lowers your sensitivity to about 45% of out of scope, and then second scope is 11.25% uh, of what it was out of scope. And then I just wanted to look at Guardian sensitivity really quickly. So Guardian uses 1.3 in-game and then 1.2 zoom. So to see what he would need to set his in-game sensitivity to if he decided that he needed to have one zoom sense, it would be 1.56. So that would give him the same movement um, in scope uh, as he does right now while having different zoom sense. Um, so I wanted to use this as like an example to show like let's say you're really used to the sensitivity you have right now in scope like you have that all all that muzzle memory from flicking but you want to change your out of sense like your in-game sense to something but you want to keep the same kind of consistency so how do you do that so I'm using myself as a, an example here so I have um, my in-game sense 1.066 and then I'm multiplying it by my zoom sensitivity 1.15 so that gives me my, my like combined zoom and in-game sensitivity which I get 1.2259 so let's say I wanted to change my sensitivity to like what Nico has so Nico is using 1.42 cents so I divide the sensitivity I got here by the new sensitivity and that gives me what I should set my zoom sensitivity to which is 0.8633 um, so doing that I have the same sensitivity in scope as I did before but I have a new sensitivity outside of scope so that's everything that I found out and just showing you guys some calculations you can do as well it does work this way so yeah um, not much else to say uh, if you guys have any questions ask me and I'll try to answer them and you can also see in the comments there might be some answers to some of your questions that you have. But yeah, I think this is kind of cool, kind of interesting. See you guys.